All right, in the previous video, we talked a little bit about programming language theory and, you know, what it's all about and some, you know, different branches of it that can be studied, such as lambda calculus and also something called type theory, which is, you know, very important to lambda calculus, which therefore means it's important to programming language theory. Okay, this video will talk about um, a little bit more about programming language theory. It's uh, denotational semantics. Now, we talked a little about semantics before, like, you know, the, the formal meaning of, you know, syntax and things like that, you know, the abstract part of meaning and things like that and how it's, you know, has a highly philosophical, you know, you know, just context to it. But basically denotational semantics simply means that, you know, we have one alphabet and a second alphabet and they basically one symbol stands for another symbol. Such as, you know, alpha stands for A, beta, whoops, beta stands for, stands for ugly beta, but beta stands for B, uh, gamma stands for G, so on and so forth. Like, the symbol of one uh, the, the yeah the symbol or you know word in one language uh, simply stands for or you know means the exact same thing in another language and basically you know again you have a transition function or you know a function that you know translates from one language to the other which is you know what programming language is all about and denotational semantics is obviously important because how are we gonna you know we're not we're not gonna be, you know typing ones and zeros the whole time it's, you know there has to be some sort of you know language that is you know a little more human oriented and you know, user friendly so. It's, it's really not much else to denotational semantics. I mean, obviously, it can be studied in more, and there's, you know, you can study the recursive definitions and things like that, but as for the general basic, gra you know, frame framework and, you know, general, you know, introduction and things like that, this really is what denotational semantics is all about. One language being translated to the other because, you know, one symbol stands for the exact same thing. Like, it can even stand to reason that alphabet one is isomorphic to alphabet two. And um, so that is, that is um, I guess, all for this one. This is pretty short compared to my other videos, but that's what denotational semantics is all about. I mean, obviously you can study more in depth, but this is, again, this is a theory computation. I'm not dwelling too much into computational linguistics. And so that's, um, that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.